Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. It's the Adam and Wax Show. I believe this is episode 49, not quite 50. We got a Curtis Jackson on the way. We better think of some good shit to do. We got 50. Some spicy stuff. Who was Curtis Jackson? We're going to keep it a Virgil. Remember that? Who was that? You're refusing to acknowledge the existence of 50 Cent? No, we're 50. We Forget about keeping it a Virgil. We're going to talk about that. Why are you hating on the G Unit General? Dang. I ain't know who. Curtis Jackson, you bald. Like, what about 50? What about him? It's almost episode number 50. Whoa. <laughs> Me and you got to come in awesome. dressed like him. So Classic got... 50. With the, with, the, with the wife beater with the stripes and the different colors? No. No costumes? No. <laughs> Your job rule. I'm 50. Adam Crazy. I'm the game. Oh, so I'm going to no. put the star on my face. Oh, you got to get the BBL. I already BBL. got the big nose. You're going to have to grow like yeah, a foot man. and a half to be game. What? what you mean? We're the same height. Yeah, right. What? Maybe if you stand on your money. What you mean? We're the same height. You got to stand Yo, on something. Uh, you oh, shout out to Donnie. 50, man. You know him and game. We having a back and forth. Uncle Murder, my man. See, that's how we know that you're not the Louis Farrakhan that you claim to be. Because you what can't you bring Curtis and Chuck together. I did, dummy. Oh, right, I remember. The world story, watched right. me. Every Brought time, together, I, every time I have face. a story, I know I'm going to be cursed with you telling me yeah. the full story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. face I to face, that. I brought them together in the middle of a club. But it didn't really go anywhere. To his that. area. No, it was going, it was moving. We saw each other again. Or oh, Well, the first time, it was a little off because he was booked to. My bad. How rude of me, man. What's up, you too? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? And my eyes, ah, shoot, I need about what? Two more, two, three more days. It will be good. Something. Go to. um. How y'all doing, though? Playhouse. Mm. 50. Right. And when game was going up there every week, he got there, they wouldn't let him in. Mm. Mm. So I was at the W around the corner. Like, yo, man, come over here. These motherfuckers, but I can't come in. Mm. When I get there, I'm talking to the owner. He like, yo, whack. We contracted him, and there's things in the contract that, you know, he can't come in. Right. So I said, okay, my name ain't in the contract, right? Right. So I said, let me in. So I go in. And he's in there with my boy Shaggy. I forget, tall and Shaggy. And you know, 50 know me through Slay and Uncle Murder. Mm -hmm. So when I come in, I said, Fit, game out there in the alley, 50 deep. He come and enjoy himself. Right. Why would you want to leave him in the alley pissed off that you got to come out of? See, this is why I can't throw any fake accusations on you. Right. Because you're going to be like, boom, 10-minute story. So he like, whack, I'm here to get my <laughs> money. I'm here to do my thing. I ain't here for no. I said, that's what it is. I said, listen, I'm going to bring bro, bro in. He's going to go to this section. It's all love. My word. 50 was in there with a skeleton crew. First time I ever seen him like this, like three, four people, like regulars. Regular skeletons. Like regulars, like no, like his regular security with him, right? Okay. No yay, yo, no none of them, right? So I'll go out, and uh, they let game in. Game went to a section. This one, 50, had just came out with his liquor. So he was on that liquor run. So um, okay. game showed some love. He ordered five, ten bottles of 50s liquor. You know what I'm saying? Showed some love. It was cool. The next time we was at the strip club, uh, Playhouse, what is that shit, Penthouse, or whatever that strip club is in NoHo, right? West Hollywood, and um, basically things didn't work out Monster, in the long run. Because of Monster, shout out Monster was there. Gang told me straight up, we, we, we need to holler tonight. And then we had a strip club, bro, it's loud, 50 up there, about 30 deep, we 30, 40 deep. And I'm like, this is not gonna work. Mm. And when Gang say you wanna do something, Oh, he's going to do it. He said, either you're going to go set it up, or I'm just going to go over there. And I know if he just went over there, it would have went up because he wouldn't know what was going on. So I walked over there with Monster, told Monster, look, this is what we're going to do. He said, what? Come in too loud. I said, Monster, you going to stand behind game. I'm going to stand behind 50, and they're going to talk in that city. He said, y'all coming over here to our area? Yeah, we went over there, and they talked for like 10, 15 minutes. I don't know what they was talking about. They was here, they talked. We ran into them again in San Bernardino at a... Um, had a weed show or something over there where the, where the promoter tried to be slick and booked 50 the last minute doing we was on the thing. Right. I told the promoter, bro, you we can't. It's a million dollar show. Either you pay us some more money or we ain't going on. We had already got our back in. Once we got our back in, we told 50, go hit the stage. We ain't going to give it to him. Let's put together the tour. And we was working to put together the tour. And out of nowhere, 50 just this game. Right. 
and we don't know where that came from. I just I have to acknowledge this. Rerun story and rerun shirt. Yeah, I don't get I think I got go to the cleaners. I know, I'm just saying you wore that shirt on here already. I wouldn't get so it would be cool if you switch your shirt up. Man, a bit, listen, you know? man, this this is no jumper. Right. You know, nigga, this is the projects. Let's take our shirts yeah, off. Uh, what? what? Do I look like Brick Baby? But we did oh, it that one time and people were pretty hyped no. on it. We had like Brick a lot, a lot of viewers because people here. were freaked out. Hey, Brick Baby called us straight as K. But we did it that one time and people were pretty hyped no. on it. We had like a lot you more live viewers because people here. were freaked out by Pulling it. Pulling on each other's nipples and stuff. No, I don't let them pull my nipples. I told them you could touch them, but don't don't pull them. Hey, listen, I don't know about people. I might go to the cleaners. Your clothes. Yeah. Me too. You know what I'm saying? What I wish, I take it home, it goes to the cleaners. I probably wore this shirt on here. When it comes from the cleaners. To be fair. I wear it. <laughs> what the is she talking about? I don't know. I don't give I can take a picture in that with Donald Trump. Uh -huh. I'm going to put it back on one day. I feel like the more memories I have with a shirt, the more it means to me. Oh, well, you know. But you go through a period with a shirt where you might wear it, like, for me, I might wear it five, ten times. Then I put it into storage, bust it out every couple of years. No, no, no. I'm going to get maybe three times out of the shirt. And then after that, it goes to the go feed the dogs, eat the dog food shirt. But if I really like it. You know what I'm saying? If it's I really like it. I'm gonna keep re-rocking that. Shit. Yeah, I don't know nothing about re-rocking. You, you watch me. Together. Okay, no crack. We're, uh, we're, I'm gonna have, like, a 2018 uh, year coming up. Like, 2025. I'm gonna only wear shirts from 2018. Oh, you still have all those shirts? I have them all stored away in this very facility. That's cool. How, how much are those shirts like worth to you? <sighs> probably like nothing. Well, to the average person, they're probably worth nothing. I don't no, know. to you though, like, what would you right now value those shirts at? I don't know. Priceless. Ten thousand, twenty thousand. No, I'm just saying, if you had to just, you know, I don't know. I couldn't put it into a dollar amount, but like, 20, I just 000, know 10, all the shirts that I had all through high school. So like, come get them shirts, my nigga. You're not going to hold my sh old t shirts well, ransom. Not me. No, but you or giving, any of your weird criminal friends. I was giving friends. a suggestion, you know, maybe <laughs> to, you know. I'll get it back in blood. Don't come from my Gildens. Anyway, if blood. I had the shirts in high school, PMS blood. If I still had those shirts, I would be overjoyed. It'd be like the coolest thing in the world to me to have my old I don't, shirts. You don't seem like the type of guy that really like you went to high school, but you really wasn't there. I actually like you I, I went. But you didn't do work. I didn't do anything extracurricular. I was like there, then I went home. You was probably the tallest dude in class who didn't play sports. I didn't make the, the yearbook. What you mean? You didn't go you go on picture day? Honestly, I don't know. I just didn't like. No, you know how they have like all the photos of all the like doing fun stuff in class, projects, whatever. Yeah. I, I, nobody took a picture of me. I, I